Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to my cup of coffee. Last time it was revealed that the maid here, who works for the uh, Greys, is in love with Lord Grey. But not, not Earl Grey, the dad, but Lord Grey, their son. Bingo. We both started laughing. <laughs> and you saw oh, the dad had fallen for the elderly Earl. <laughs> I don't like no saggy old man balls. I know, what, huh? What was I thinking? Secret found true love. Discovered Miss Charlene's lover. Hmm. All right, so let us go back. We're running out of time. Let's talk to Lady Grey. She's talking about the fabric near her heart. Um, let's maybe if we talk to her about the maid. No, the fair. No, love. No. What the fuck? Uh, let's go talk to the Earl. Maybe that's the one we have to talk to. Let's talk to uh, him about the affair? No. Let's talk to him about the maid? No. Let's talk to him about love? Alright, well, what's the part I'm missing? Miss Darjeeling sighed deeply and gave me a small smile when she realized I was looking in her direction. Hmm. Alright, so we asked her about love. We asked her about the affair. We've already asked her about the locket. So you work for the Greys, right? What's the Earl like? She avoided answering the question. Oh, you know, the usual. I think I should try a lighter topic first. Ah. What do I do now? I mean, okay, we found out that the maid... Lady Grey's locket disappeared because the Earl took it and gave it to the maid. He gave it to the maid so that she would clean it. Lady Grey was suspicious. Uh, Suspicious, uh, suspicious of the Earl of having an affair with the maid Darjeeling. Darjeeling likes a grey, but she likes their son. Maybe if I ask about the fucking locket again? So do you have the locket? I can't say. I don't think she's comfortable enough to tell me. Fine, let's do some damn small talk. Have you been following the news? The Queen is instituting a new holiday, Curry Day. Is it named after Tim? Really? I'm afraid so. <laughs> Uh, small talk again? Uh, is it better to use semi-skimmed with black tea? Oh yes, it's lovely. Give me the locket. So you have a locket? I can't say. God damn it, we're running out of time. Okay, small talk some more. How, how's work going these times lately? Shh, it's a secret. Where you rested her hand on her hip and winked playfully. I bet you'd love to know all my secrets. I know enough, give me the fucking locket! So do you have the locket? I can't say- Oh, fucking son of a bitch. We got ten minutes left! What more small talk can I do? Have you been following the news? It's not big news, but Captain Chino's back in town. I don't even know who that is. Really? I'm afraid so. I cast a glance at the clock. I have time for one last question. Where's the fucking locket? So do you have a locket? No, I gave it back. Back to whom? The Earl, of course. He gave it to me for polishing in the first place. Polishing? Yeah, for their wedding anniversary. Right, 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 right. It was 5.30, time to wrap it up. No, I just want to talk to the Earl one last time. I know, I know everything. Well, I listened to what the Greys and Miss Darjeeling had to say, and now I had to make a decision. If I helped the Greys understand their differences, would they be happy together, or were, were they better off apart? Well, I, I, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm playing God right now, aren't I? I will decide how your marriage ends. But, um, over the course of this, we found out that Lady Grey's a pain in the ass, but deep down, she's insecure and loves her husband. Lord Grey busts ass to try and please her, but it's never enough due to her insecurity, and she's a pain in the ass. But also, he doesn't know how to communicate with her, so they both really love each other. I mean, he's doing something really sweet by getting the locket cleaned. He does think the maid, maid's cute, but it's not a crime to think someone's cute. And uh, the maid uh, has a thing for their son. So I think we should help them. Whoa, I should I could tell Earl Grey to divorce his wife. Tell Lady Grey to divorce her husband. I'm glad we did all the research, because at one point in the questioning, it really did seem suspicious. I think, though, I don't know. They seem good together. They just need to communicate more. Or less, I don't know. I'm going to decide to help them out. I decided to help the Greys. I know this wasn't the easiest option, but I felt it was the right one. 
Plus, they're going to be really angry at me and not buy coffee and tea from me anymore if I'm like, you should get divorced. And then five years later, they're like, they wasn't having an affair. They just got my locket cleaned. I had to deal with this affair business. Was the Earl unfaithful? No. I really like this game. The Earl may be innocent, but what about the maid? Was Miss Darjeeling guilty? The only thing she's guilty of is having a crush on their son, so she's innocent too. Then there was the locket. Why was the locket important? It proves they hate each other? It proves they love each other. Um, it proves Lady Grey hates her husband. It proves Lady Grey loves her husband. It proves the Earl hates his wife. I don't know if it proves they love each other or not. Did he originally get it for it? I forgot. I know it proves the Earl loves his wife. Because he wanted to get it clean for the anniversary. Alright, let's all sit down together at one table. Would anyone like a cup of tea before we start? Yes, please. That's all I'm talking about. The Greys answered in unison, then shifted, and then shitted uncomfortably in their chairs. You can't poop in these chairs! I have to clean them later. Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. It's because you were probably drinking up all my stock from behind the counter, weren't you? I served the Greys their tea. Right, where to begin? Let's start with the missing item. I cast a glance in Lady Grey's direction, wondering if she'd speak up about the locket, but her lips remained tightly sealed. That's why it's sad. You don't open your mouth to give blow him kisses. Um, that's another thing, is that they don't know how to communicate. She could just be like, well, I saw you give my locket to the maid. What, what's up? Instead, she's like, I know you're cheating on me, and I'm waiting for you to come clean. He wasn't cheating on you. He just wanted to get the locket clean to surprise you. Then I looked at Earl Grey. He, too, refused to speak. He's probably like, I got this whole surprise, I don't want it ruined. It is my understanding that the Earl took Lady Grey's locket and gave it to Miss Darjee. Aha, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew you gave him that locket! Her, her, that locket! I knew it! You're gonna skinks! For polishing in light of the upcoming wedding anniversary? Oh, 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 oh. Bugger, did you have to tell her that? Yeah, I did, Earl. I mean, I know you wanted to surprise your annoyingly big-butted wife, but she was worried you were cheating, and that's more important for her to have peace of mind. Like, understandably, if she's worried about that, don't leave her. Well, yes, because Lady Grey has been waiting for you to give it back. Nonsense, she didn't even know it was gone. Okay, maybe the lady's a little right that you're a little inattentive. Oh, yes, I did notice! Oh, no, you didn't! Ugh. This is what happens when you've been married for 36 years. He's like, I'm going to do a nice thing for my wife and get the locket cleaned. And it ends up being them fighting. <laughs> this is not going well. This proves the Earl loves you, Lady Grey. How so? He wanted to make sure your precious keepsake was polished in time for your anniversary. Oh, I, I suppose. No, 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 not you suppose. You, what? Ah. Uh, uh, I am flabbergasted, and I'm not usually gassed at all. Damn it, woman. What do you mean, I suppose? You were like, he is putting his dick in the maid. And we're like, no, actually, he was just getting the locket clean because he loves you. And you're just like, oh, well, whatever. <sighs> now, I need to clean up this affair business. I was pretty sure both the Earl and the maid were innocent. Lady Grey's insecurity in combination with a few unfortunate events caused her to imagine infidelity. You got to quit reading those romance novels. Look at this guy. Nobody wants a mustache ride from him. But how can I prove it to him? Hmm, perhaps I should start by tackling her lack of confidence. Honey, we do not have enough time to build Lady Big Butt's confidence. Probably me calling her Lady Big Butt's not helping the cause either. If she farts, I'll be like, everyone batten down the hatches! It's gonna blow! Lord Grey, what do you think of Miss Darjeeling? Don't be too honest. The Earl seems confused. Uh, I don't understand why you're asking this out of the blue. There is a point, trust me. Oh, uh, well, she's a valuable staff member. I'll show you my member, Lady Darjeeling. What do you think of your wife? Say she's a valued staff member. Say your wife's a valued staff member, too. She's my wife. What else is there to say? Oh, God. This is a moment of realization. Two things. is We're staying at work half, almost half an hour late. But that would be me. I would be the guy here. I'd be like, she's my wife. That's his way of saying I love her and she's the most important. She's my wife. 
But, you know, the word wife encapsulates it all. But obviously his wife is going to be like, that's very cold and distant. But for him, it's like very emotive. I picked you over everyone else. The term wife means I want you above everyone else. Same language, but a big gap in um, the way people understand things. Do you remember when you first met her? Why did you find her attractive? Probably because she's got a shaken booty. Of course I remember. I thought she was a beautiful, strong, intelligent woman. How could you tell that by the way she danced? You're like, the way her boobs jiggle means she must know calculus. And and now? Uh, nothing's changed. She's still my sparkling jewel. Kind of a pain in the butt, but she's kind of like a diamond butt plug. That's romantic. He said this with a soft and tender expression. I looked over at Lady Grey, who had tears in her eyes. Aww. Bernie, this is the first I've heard you say that in years. In years! That's because nothing's changed in years. I am so much like you, Earl Grey. Let's go get a beer. I'm like you. I'm like, I said it once. It's the same. Why do I have to say it every five seconds? Oh, Bernie, you silly old... Miss Darjeeling, are you in love with anyone? Oh, she's gonna get outed, but she wants their son to pork her. <laughs> the maid seems surprised. Miss Darjeeling. Could you describe this person to me? He's... She hesitated, casting an uncertain glance at Lady Grey. Don't tell me you have a crush on Lady Grey, too. He's an intelligent man. Strong, handsome, beautiful blonde hair and blue eyes. I was looking at her eyes, wondering if the kid was going to have blonde or blue eyes, or, uh, sorry, blue eyes or, uh, brown eyes. I assume brown eyes, because that's more dominant, but whatever. Where did you meet this person? Well, I met him in Oxford. He was in an ox? He was a football player for a local team. I glanced at Lady Grey to see if she understood where I was going with this. He sounds like a wonderful young man. I hope you find happiness together. I hope they find out it's their son and then they reject her. <laughs> the maid blushed and said nothing. When my eyes met Lady Grey's gaze, she gave me an appreciative nod. Is this the thing where, like, the wife understands and the guy doesn't? Because that would be me. She'd be like, oh, I get it. It's all soon. And I'd be like, I like sports. <laughs> it was time to move on to the final topic. The symptom of the problem was solved, but now it's root. It's clear to me that you love each other, but I'm not sure how it is clear to you. Uh, but I'm not sure if it's clear to you. This is because... Um... Wow. I could say they never tell each other. You never show each other. Well... He... Uh, the Earl Grey... Earl Grey, he shows. Because he works his ass off. And he buys things for her. And he gets the locket clean. So... Earl Grey always shows it. But he never tells it because he's not good with words. He, he, that's how he shows, that's how he says I love you, is by doing the things he thinks will make her happy. And she doesn't show he loves him, she loves him, because she fucking nags him all the time. So we're going to say, Lord Grey never tells, and Lady Grey never shows. Show him your tits more and he'll be happier. You both have styles of affection. Lady Grey is good at telling others how she feels. I know, she never stops telling. Oh, Ben! What?! She told me she finds you very charming and handsome. I'm sure she lets you know she loves you through words every day. Daryl blushed a little. Well, uh, yes, but... Don't talk about my butt, sir. Lord Grey, on the other hand, is better at making his feelings known through action. He's a man of action. He works to make sure you're able to buy any luxury you desire. That's why you have all day to pick what fucking hat you want to wear. Sorry, I'm a little bitter. I don't even have a hat. I live in a box. And I eat old McDonald's food. Well, I wish I did. That's the dream I aspired to. <laughs> he thoughtfully polishes the locket that is such a treasure to you. But he never says he's doing it for me, for love. Why else would he do? Do you see him buying those clothes for anybody else? Do you see the maid wearing a frou-frou hat or wearing a fancy locket? Don't even. How can you not see? <sighs> Is this what it's like to be a counselor or like a psychiatrist for like a marriage counselor? I bet any marriage counselor watching right now is like, Oh my god, this is every day I live! Precisely, am I wrong in saying that you, Lady Grey, would prefer to him say, hear him say I love you over any gesture? The fact that she has fancy tastes, I think he's screwed. I think he's still going to have to work late and say I love you too. I do! 
And you, Lord Grey, would you not prefer Lady Grey mended a sock or cooked a meal over any compliment she pays you? Damn, he's like, get in the kitchen! Fairly so. The couple looked at each other thoughtfully. If she's cooking, though, does that mean we might not need a maid? Need a maid? Sorry, you might get fired. You can get a job here at the coffee beanery. I might touch your beanery. Uh, Aggie? Uh, I'm sorry. I felt you would know how much I love you by how well I treated you. To think for the last 36 years, I, I've not understood how you felt. Oh, Bernie, it's me who is sorry. I should have understood you better. I didn't recognize your efforts. Miss Darjeeling and I exchanged a nod. She stood up. Please excuse me. Or I gotta go take a giant dookie in the toilet. <laughs> the Greys continued their discussion while I mopped the floor in preparation for closing time. Closing time. One last call for alcohol. Oh, Bertie. I'm gonna wreck you tonight. Oh, Bertie, you've not said that in years. <laughs> when they left, they both thanked me with a smile. A year later, hopefully it worked out. I think I'm a damn good marriage counselor. As the months passed, I saw the Greys often. The change was slow and gradual, but the couple grew closer and closer with time. Ah, I think that's them now. Hello, coffee bitch! What? After all I did for you! Some, some respect, please! Good morning, my lord, my lady. The usual? That's both of them talking at once. What do you think, dear? Shall we try something new, a new experience, together? Oh, I like the sound of that. Uh, what do you got, t uh, coffee bitch latte? There's this new tea, said Earl Grey. I served their order and they sat down on a sofa together. Zesty, with a hint of sweetness, just like you, dear. The Earl smiled warmly at his wife. Just like you, my dear. Oh, I stole the line and I ruined it. Just a hint, I think I'm the very definition of sweetness itself. Yeah, you are. She poked him playfully with her fan, and he farted. You see, Zesty, that's what I love about you. Lady Grey blushed and took his hand. She leaned in and put her head on his shoulder. Aw, they were the happiest couple I knew. Since I don't get out of the co coffee place much, that's the only couple I know. Unlocked happily ever after. Hell yeah! That's gotta be the good ending. Well, you know what? Maybe it's time for me to quit Let's Plays and go into marriage counseling. I was very good as a coffee bitch lady. Saving marriages. I didn't get to make out with the maid, but whatever. At least we saved the marriage. And I'm glad I kept asking questions. I almost quit and was going to be like, they're cheating on you. <laughs> then I would have ruined everything. That would have been horrible. Uh, the end. Well, everybody, I want to thank you for hanging up for my cup of coffee, The Trouble with Earl Grey. Whoever wrote this, I really liked it. It was well done. It definitely was much more intellectual, much more intelligent than most visual novels I do, and I really like the variety of, oh, you could blame him for this or that, and uh. if you'd like to play it yourself and try one of the different endings, maybe you can break them up or whatever, uh, there should be a link in the description, and I hope you enjoy your day! Coffee bitch out! <laughs>